Um, so when I was born, I don't know what they're called, like the cavities in there, mm-hmm. they're smaller than they're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. So like when I get sinus infections, it gets blocked up. Mm-hmm. And then I just get like really bad headaches and it's like all throughout here. Okay. All right. How often does that occur? Is it just sinus season? Um, so yeah, when I was younger, it happened a lot. And then I was going to get surgery for it. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't do it cause I was scared. Mm-hmm. So then after a while it went away mm-hmm. and I would just like take the nasal spray. After a while it like went away, but recently, like maybe a couple months ago, my, my like headaches started coming back and I was like, what is happening? Like, mm-hmm. am I not drinking enough water? Like what's going on? And then it hit me. I was like, oh my gosh, like these sinus problems. So when my mom, like she'd look at me and be like, I can see like in your eyes, like my eyes will get dark down here. Okay. So just like this giant black spots underneath my eyes. Okay. Do you eat red meat? Um, yes. But I try to stay away from it because it kind of makes my stomach upset. Okay. Uh, do you intentionally eat any vegetables that have lots of iron in them or uh, anything Not that? necessarily. Okay. How do you sleep at night? I sleep a lot. Okay. Like, a when you say much. a lot, go, go for um, it. First all right, of all, so how old are you? I'm 24. Okay. Okay. Um... Well, sometimes I stay up till like two in the morning, mm-hmm. and if I'm off the next day, I'll wake up at two p.m. Okay. Or three or four. Okay. I sleep a lot. Yeah. Do you feel groggy when you're awake? Um. Yeah. If I sleep that long, definitely. But if I wake up at like if I go to sleep at two in the morning, like two a.m., and I wake up at like eleven or uh, twelve p.m. Mm-hmm. or eleven a.m. or twelve p.m. Um, I'll feel tired, so I go back to sleep, but then when I, if I wake up at like 2 p.m., I'm like, oh my gosh, I slept too much, so okay. it's like a weird, but mm, I love sleeping. And okay. then I take a nap. I'll go eat, Okay. then I take a nap, then I wake up at 6 p.m. Okay. Do you always get tired after you eat? Do you feel tired after you eat? Yes. Okay. All right. Do you exercise? I don't. Do you drink coffee? I drink a lot of coffee. Okay. And Red Bull. And Red Bull. Okay. That was my next question. All right. So, um, Okay. When you get a headache, where on your head do you get it? Um, it's mostly just through here. I mean, sometimes I'll feel it here, so I'll just like massage it like that. Okay. Um, or I'll just like pinch here, and mm-hmm. it like makes it go away. Okay. And you said when you first started getting headaches, your your first initial reaction was, "Am I drinking enough water?" Yeah, because so, I don't really drink that much water. Okay, so you don't drink that much water, no, but just... you're aware of the importance of yes. it, obviously. I mean, I'll drink like a bottle here and there just to like. Because my body needs it. Okay. But I mostly run on coffee or Red Bull. Okay, very good. Yeah. All right. I mean, well, not very good. Not good. But thank you for the information <laughs> is what I meant by that. All right. So what's it like during the spring for you? Do you Does it get more intense during the spring or? Um, It has lately. Yeah. So like I said, it went away when I was younger. Mm-hmm. And then I was fine. Yeah, that's where we're at. That's yeah. Where we're at. So, why did it go away when you were younger and why is know. it back now? Did you have it when you were in Russia? Not that I remember. I don't really remember much from Russia. How's your back? How's your neck? Um, everything's good besides like my shoulder area, like right, right. here. All right, so this tell me section. about your shoulder, both sides equally? Yeah, so like just like that whole, like the T section. Any pain down your arms at all ever? Mm-hmm. Any numbness or tingling in your fingertips with that? Nope. Okay, very good. Do you ever notice anything else with your diet? Well, let's start with this. How much dairy do you eat? I try to stay away from dairy because I'm lactose intolerant, okay. so, but like I still drink coffee and mm-hmm. that does not affect me that well. <laughs> well do, you, do you put cream in your coffee? Yeah, like if I go to Starbucks, I'm too lazy to tell them to take it out or like sub mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's so many non, there's so many non-dairy options there. There are, I'm just, yeah, yeah I just don't want to waste the time. You're I'm really, very like... How much time is that <laughs> that you have to... It's not even like wasting time. I'm just like, hey, yeah, I'll get that. Because I'll see people ordering for yeah. so long, but I don't want to be that person. Mm-hmm. So then the, I just well, like the, take the, the pain. The orders are very complicated. They though. are. Yeah, so I'll Starbucks, take the pain. Yeah. I'm just like, caramel macchiato. I'm going to regret it later. Okay. This is the first thing that we're going to... This is the first suggestion I have. I'm just going invi- to... I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just inviting you to consider okay. the possibility that a world exists where you're allowed to order what you want. I or a menu, especially if it's better for your health. I agree. Well, it, like I've tried subbing it like with almond milk or anything. It's oat milk. You really need oat, oat milk. milk. Yeah, that's the best. Oh, well, yeah. see, almond milk makes it taste weird. So. Yeah, almond milk is weird. Have you ever been to a chiropractor before? No. 
Okay, good. These are my favorite kinds of adjustments. Yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll start off. We'll do an examination on your spine. There's not too much physical stuff happening, but we'll pay particular attention to the cervical and thoracic spine up here. Okay. And then uh, we'll be doing some cranial and some sinus maneuvers as well. Okay, so very symmetrical temperature here. Your right scapula is just a little bit lower than the left scapula, so we're seeing a little bit of a postural change there. There's very minor postural changes right There's a little bit of a flattening of this curvature right here. And otherwise, it's very symmetrical, very normal from top to bottom and from left to right. There's no curvatures here. There's no herniated discs or pinched nerves or anything like that. There, it looks like that you have some broken blood vessels right here where these postural changes are, which is very interesting. You know anything about this? Yeah, people have pointed that out before. Okay, but no one has any answers for them? <laughs> no. March, I'm going to assess your pelvis. March in place for me. Okay, looking at the feet, a little bit of an arch drop on the left. That's fine. High knees. Okay, no external internal rotation. Okay, stop. Okay, I'm going to measure your glute fibers now, so you're going to feel my fingertips on the back of your hamstrings, okay? Okay, we're going to slide up to the bottom of the glute fold here. It looks like it's slightly lower on the left, and then looking from the top, it looks even. All right, bend forward and touch your toes. Okay, looking at, uh, looking for any rib humping here. We're nice and straight, up and down, left to right, no curvatures. Okay, so the left comes up short first, That's uh, which matches the standing glute fiber check. Left short, and crosses over. Okay, nice, gentle breathing. Tender. Hold it. This side more, less, yeah, same. This side's more. More on the left again. Okay, shoulders relax. Let your shoulders sink in. Nice, gentle breathing, Yelena.
can let your shoulders sink in here a little bit. There you go. Okay, nice gentle breathing. We're gonna stretch the spine here. Well, you definitely have some tension in your back. I know I can't relax. Yeah, do, what, do you feel that tension on a normal basis? Yeah. Okay. All right, I found a couple things to adjust here today. Uh, this is definitely our primary area here in the upper thoracic spine. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start in the mid thoracic spine so that we can loosen some things up and get you can get used to the adjustment mm -hmm. and feel what it's like before we come up to here with the harder stuff. I'm going to adjust your pelvis today. We're going to do the uh, SI joint on both sides. And then after that, we're going to flip over and we're going to look at your neck, especially the upper cervical area, which has a lot of implications mm -hmm. in the sinuses. And then and then also, too, we're, we've got to really pay attention to this muscle tone here because your muscles are very toned back here, way too toned for someone who doesn't exercise. So that tension is not like a... A, a good tension. It's not mm -hmm. a good muscular tension. It's deeper than that. I mean, I left a lot of boxes at work, mm -hmm. but it's not really. That could be mm -hmm. something. No, it's not. That's it's not that kind of tension. That kind of no. tension would be like here. That would be like here. I mean, is this? Is that? Is that tender at all? Ow. Maybe on the left side. Here. Oh, More than this? Oh, Both of them? Yep. Okay. All right, well, that's why we're adjusting your sacrum, too. Ready? Let's practice an adjustment first. Okay. And that way you can feel what it's like. So you're going to take a deep breath in through your nose, not through your mouth. Good. I'm going to follow your breath like this. That's good. And then we're going to push like that. Okay. That was practice? That was practice. Okay. You ready for the real thing? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, shoulders sinking in. I know, I can't relax. Good, you're doing great. No, no, all you have to do is breathe. Don't worry about relaxing, okay. just breathe. Good, go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. Good, and let it out gently. Good, just let it slip out. Just let it all go. Good. Holy sh... <laughs> I felt in my chest. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to start here in the middle. Okay. Same thing, deep breath in. Good and out. Go, let the shoulders sink. Good. Okay, now we're going to come up to where it's most problematic. Okay, shoulders relaxed, just kind of sinking in. I'm going to lower the headpiece down just a little bit like that. Good. Just like that. Good. Sinking in. Holy, what the? <laughs> okay. I didn't know my back could do that. It's really good. But you can tell the difference between that crack there yeah, and the other ones before small. it. Yeah. Why? There was more pressure here. Mm. More pressure inside the joint. All right, we're gonna try one more like this. So you're gonna take a deep breath in, and then this time you're gonna take a deep breath in, and then when you get to the top of the breath, you're gonna start letting it out, and then as you let it out, we're gonna push, okay? Okay, okay so let's do that again. Deep breath in, all the way, as far as you can go. Let your shoulders relax. Good, now breathe. Deep. 
Okay, so we're gonna bring your hands slightly up. And then you're gonna breathe, and as you breathe, we're gonna stretch your shoulders in this direction. I'm gonna bring your pelvis like this, and then we're gonna push like that, okay? And deep breath in. Good, and out. Good, sinking in shoulders. Good, we're gonna bring this down a little bit more. And you're back. <laughs> I feel like my body's like breaking apart. Alright, so we're using your hands and arms here. We're going to stretch in this direction with your breath. And then bringing your hips down. We're going to come, there you go. We're going to come right about there. And then push, okay. Okay, okay breathing in. And out. Good, shoulders relax. Let this come down a little bit more. Can I hear back? That's good. Okay, left is still short. That's good. Let this relax here. Turn your head to the right. Good. Back to center. Now turn your head to the left. Good. Evens out there. Back to center. Looking at the right upper cervical. Okay, now bring your left ear down to your shoulder. Back to center. Good. Now your right ear to your shoulder. And back to center. Okay, we're gonna do some very gentle traction, okay? Okay, just let your head just sink into my hands. But you can close your eyes, there's nothing to look at right now. to like here, okay, and just let your head relax and sink in. I'm gonna bring this down like this and then we're gonna push in that direction like that, okay? Okay. Okay, and just let your head drop in to my hands here. That's the most important feeling that you want to accomplish is this feeling right here. That's it. So if I bring you over here, just let it drop. Okay. Here, drop. Go ahead, loose. Do you want to let your head and shoulders drop with this drop too? Good, that's better. Let your head, let your hips drop. I can't. I don't know why. <laughs> no, you're, no, no, you're doing great. Okay. You're fine. Uh-huh. It takes a little bit. It's fine. You did it with all the other adjustments, okay? It's just a matter of, um, of being present within yourself. And the best way to feel your, uh, feel this moment is to pay attention to your breathing. And so it's easier to let go when you're breathing out. So... Just like the other adjustments, we move with the breath, right? And so we're just kind of feeling the tension on the in-breath, and then as you breathe out, we slowly feed into that letting go. Okay. And then we push. Gently, okay? This is not going to hurt at all. Okay. Okay, breathing in through your nose. Go out through your mouth. Good. You breathe it? Let me try again. <laughs> okay. Good and out. Good. That's perfect. Good. Oh my god. Mm. What the hell? That was good. It didn't hurt, but it was good. It felt good.
think it sounds scarier than it feels. We're going to do the left side now, okay? First, I'm going to test the left side. I'm not going to push yet, but just let it go. Let your head just practice that breath. Good, and then letting go, and I'm testing six, five, four, three, two. Good, one more time, let this loose, just testing, seven. Good, five, four, seems like mid to upper, five, four here. Okay, breathing. Good, let's try that again. Deep breath in, good, end out. Good, and then let your head drop. Good, let your shoulders drop. That's good. I didn't knock a crack like that. Okay, I'm gonna crack your toes now, okay? okay. All right, breathe, just let this go. Good, okay, now this is a pubic bone adjustment. You're gonna squeeze my fist in between your knees, okay? Okay. Can I go ahead and squeeze? Did you feel that? Yeah. Here, let's try this. Hold your knees together. Hold them together, don't let me pull it apart. Hold, as hard as you can. Close your eyes. Oh. All right, so this is a digestive organ manipulation. <laughs> We're gonna start with the ileocecal valve. This is the valve in between the large and the small intestine, okay? Mm -hmm. It's about where your belly button is. Yep, and then the ASIS here, this is the front of the hip bone. We connect these two points, we start from there. Did you feel that? Yeah. Well, did you hear it, first of all? I didn't really hear it. Okay. Because there was a motorcycle outside. Like that, did you hear that? No, I just felt pain. You feel pain? Give me it, rate it for me. Ten's the worst pain ever. Like a three. Okay. Okay, this is the pyloric sphincter. This is the valve in between the stomach and the small intestine. Is this one tender too? Yeah. More or less than the other one? More like a five. Okay, take a deep breath into your belly now. Good and out. Okay, when you breathe, try to try to just move your belly. Move your belly up as you breathe in. Good and out. And then when you breathe out, suck your belly in. So fill your belly up with air. Good. Now breathe out and then suck it all in. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Same thing. Move your belly with the breath and out. Okay, this is a diaphragm maneuver now. Just keep breathing inward. Same thing, deep breath in and out. Get in. Out. In. Keep going. These tender too. Mm -hmm. 
Kan jeg ikke sige derfra. So the towel is supporting your neck, mm -hmm. and your hands are in a good place. All you have to do is keep your teeth together, okay? And then as you breathe out, we're going to follow the breath and then in that direction, and then at the end we'll pull it like that, okay? Okay, nice and gentle breathing in and out. Good, letting the shoulders sink in and the hips sink in. Good, that was a good let go. Do that again, same thing. Good, end out. Go, let the shoulders go. <laughs> you didn't walk away. <laughs> yeah, <didn't>. <laughs> Damn. How was it? That was nice. Put these blocks underneath of your hips. Good, right hip up. Good, down. Nice, gentle breathing. Let your shoulders sink in. Hold your pinky and thumb together. It's my mom's birthday. Really? Yeah. Hold your friend. Hold them together. Hold them. This side. Hold. Hold. Go. Let this go. I'm gonna wrap my fingers around your face now, okay? Good, you can close your eyes. Is it more tender over here on the right mm -hmm. side? Kind of both.
Is your ear tender there? Mm-hmm. Okay, this is a pulse reading, okay? Not like a traditional, uh, not like a Western medicine pulse, which measures rate, rhythm, contour, and amplitude from one position. But this is a three-fingered pulse that was developed um, thousands of years ago in both India and China. Slight, slight variances here. Can we can take those off? Okay, I'm going to push down a little bit deeper. Do you smoke? I do. Yeah. Um, oh, and then, uh, what about your reproductive system? Because what's happening there with your periods? Because, all right, go ahead. First, tell me what's happening with your reproductive. What's happening with your period? Um. Well, they last eight days. Okay. And um, in the past, like they hurt really bad to where I had to go to the ER because I would like pass out from the pain. Mm-hmm. And then they just told me to start taking like my doll a couple days before my period and then after. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing that. But yeah, they still hurt really bad. No one's ever done any imaging on it? Uh, I've had CAT scans done before and they didn't really find anything. Excuse me. They one time said I had organ spasms. Organ spasms. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Well, your organs are muscles, yeah. except they're involuntary. And so they were involuntarily spasming, contracting way too much. Okay, I'm gonna push deeper now again. Okay, so, <clears throat> All right, so the, so the majority of your pulse reading tells me that a majority of this is digestional, okay? Your adrenal glands are lagging behind everything else, but that's it. That's obvious. Caffeine, Red Bull, of course, it, you're drinking those because you're tired and want more energy. Mm -hmm. And then in turn, they pump your system full of um, sugar and various things that make your adrenal gland crash. That's actually what's playing into your, um, into your cramps and into your periods. And so... Um, if you've already gotten the scans that say that your ovaries are good and you don't have any of that PCOS, and if, if my scan is accurate as well, then that tells me that your period cramps are actually digestional. And, um, and so what I would do is I'd start with possibly a very low dose of, of some iron and also some magnesium. Mm. Instead of taking Midol, you still do that? Mm -hmm. Before you, instead of taking Midol when your period's coming up, is it pretty regular yeah. routine? Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. So like the, the system is working if you're on time. Instead of taking Midol to suppress everything, why don't we just not drink the Red Bull so that your adrenal gland can kind of relax a little bit. And then when you start to go through your period and the adrenal gland needs to be active again, then it can do what it needs to without having to spasm everything out and mm -hmm. make you, you know, go to the hospital. Usually anything that's period related, um, it takes a couple of the moon cycles mm -hmm. to kick in. So to give it a fair shot, I would do the next three cycles without Red Bull. As soon as you like, as soon as you're in that, like I'm um, two, three, two to three days before the more time, the better If you can do three days. That's great. The next three cycles, try the no Red Bull. If nothing happens, then the three cycles after that, then try the Red Bull and the coffee three days before us and just take them out. Uh, the magnesium will help that a lot. Uh, magnesium is something that I recommend to people who are having difficulty sleeping just in its own mm -hmm. right. Uh, but for the most part, for a smooth muscle and skeletal muscle, it's great at relaxing muscle tissue. Mm -hmm. And so I think that, and your periods are like this every time? Mm -hmm. uh, right. I mean, recently they've gotten worse, but. All right, so, okay. So, so we should know pretty quickly how effective we are. Yeah. And uh, how's it feel? Take it for a test drive. How's your neck and shoulders feel right now so far? Um, I feel loose. Okay. I feel like I'm not as tight. But I feel good. They're not doing your whistling. <laughs> God. 
called me out, dude. And you walk away like you're a boss. Well. What's the funny? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, sinking in <laughs> here. <laughs> but what do you like to do for physical, like, what is your physical activity? After I asked the question, I already knew based on your podcast preferences. Um, okay. <laughs> there was one you the video. <laughs> you like dropped it down. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's like a drop the mic type of moment.